Hi, my name is John and I work at American AVK. AVK is a leading worldwide manufacturer of valves for the water, gas, wastewater, and fire protection industries. We are continuously developing new innovations and technologies to better serve our customers. We manufacture all of our products in the United States at our 180,000 square foot ISO 9001 certified facility located in Minden, Nevada. All of us at AVK strive to deliver the best quality products with improved first in your market features, meeting our customers' needs today and into the future. American AVK manufactures two distinct models of the dry barrel fire hydrant, the 2700 Modern and the 2780 Nostalgic. In this video, we will show you how to replace a main valve in an AVK Series 27 fire hydrant. AVK replacement parts are available from your local AVK distributor. Warning, for all of the following repair procedures, the hydrant must be isolated or the system depressurized and drained before removing the hydrant components. Failure to do so may cause pressure to be released, resulting in severe injury or death. First, we are going to remove the weather shield retaining bolt with a 5 16 or 8 mm hexagon key. Then lift off the weather shield. Remove the lock plate retaining screw and lock plate with a 7 64 or 3 mm hexagon key. Remove the thrust nut using the AVK operating wrench and rotating counterclockwise. Remove the operating nut using the AVK operating wrench. Remove the upper anti-friction washer. Turn counterclockwise for open left hydrants and clockwise for open right hydrants. Remove the lower anti-friction washer and set aside with the operating nut. Using the socket wrench end of the AVK T wrench, remove the stop nut from the upper stem rod. Remove the six bonnet bolts, nuts, and washers using 3 quarter inch or 19 millimeter wrenches. Lift the bonnet straight up over the upper stem rod carefully to avoid damage to the stem seal o-rings. The oil sleeve is used to contain the oil in oil-filled hydrants. Slide over the stem and under the lower stem seal o-rings. Remove the barrel gasket and inspect it for damage. If damaged, replace. Use the AVK centering tool and T-wrench to unscrew the main valve assembly and remove. Note, if there is damage to the main valve, open the lead valve slightly and flush the hydrant body of any debris. Once the main valve assembly is removed, place the assembly on a convenient surface such as a tailgate or workbench. Remove the upper stem and coupling, turn the lower stem and main valve assembly upside down and gently tap it on a piece of wood to remove the main valve seat ring. This is easier to do if the hydrant is fully open when beginning the removal process. Leave the seat ring on the lower stem to be installed later. If using a new seat ring, remove the old one and place a new one on the lower stem. To disconnect the main valve from the lower stem rod, remove the spring pin and the main valve retaining pin washer from the main valve retaining pin. Then remove the main valve retaining pin. Unscrew the main valve from the lower stem. Screw the new main valve as far as you can onto the lower stem threads. Then back it off to install the pin. The pin should be as close as possible to the bottom of the U-slot. Apply food grade grease to the ears of the main valve and the seat ring guides. Slide the main valve seat ring over the ears of the main valve. Make sure the stem is held in place and apply several sharp tugs to the seat ring. The main valve and stem assembly is now ready to be reinstalled in the hydrant. Inspect the seat ring o-rings for damage and replace if necessary. Clean the threads of the seat ring. Place the stem assembly into the hydrant. Using the AVK T-wrench, push down and rotate counterclockwise until you feel a small thump. This will align the threads. Screw the main valve into the hydrant by rotating clockwise. We are now ready to rebuild the hydrant. 
Clean the top of the nozzle section and install a new barrel gasket. Carefully slide the bonnet over the upper stem rod and onto the nozzle section. Take care not to displace the stem seal O-rings. Rotate the bonnet to place the grease circuit oil plug to a location convenient for future maintenance. Be careful that the barrel gasket stays in its proper position. Install the bonnet bolts, nuts and washers and tighten finger tight. Reinstall the stop nut. Using the socket portion of the AVKT wrench, spin the stop nut down until it stops and then snug it about one quarter turn tighter. Reinstall the lower anti-friction washer. If required, refill the lubrication reservoir in the bonnet with a food grade oil or grease that contains no acetate or silicone. Reinstall the operating nut. Tighten the operating nut all the way until it is snug against the lower anti-friction washer. Reinstall the upper anti-friction washer on top of the operating nut. Lightly grease the thrust nut O-rings and reinstall the thrust nut. Tighten the thrust nut until it is just snug against the anti-friction washer, then back off the thrust nut 1 8 or 1 quarter turn to the first location at which the lock plate can be installed. Do not over tighten the thrust nut. Reinstall the lock plate and lock plate screw. On hydrants equipped with a set screw, back off the thrust nut until the set screw can be reinstalled. Now tighten the bonnet bolts to 65 foot-pounds using a star pattern. Reinstall the weather shield and weather shield bolt. Operate the hydrant into the fully open position and then close it fully prior to turning the lead valve on to allow the oil or grease to lubricate the operating nut. Test the hydrant for leaks. We have successfully installed a new main valve. We would like to thank you for purchasing an AVK product and being our customer. We pride ourselves on our quality, innovation, products, and solutions. Our customer support and local distributors are there to provide genuine AVK parts. For additional information and complete product manuals, please visit our website.